Rough weather rolling through. Aisha Scott tracking in the first Warren Storm Center for us. Aisha. Yeah, Fred, nothing terribly widespread, but certainly this storm is packing a punch. So I want to start off with first Warren Doppler radar. And this storm has strengthened, and because of that, we now have a severe thunderstorm warning for Cabarrus and Mecklenburg counties until 645 tonight. The main threat with this storm certainly damaging wind gusts upwards of 60 miles per hour and even some quarter sized hail. So just be careful if you do have to travel this evening, wait for this storm to pass before you go out. It's also producing heavy rain from Paw Creek just south of Shuffletown. We're seeing some heavy rain here, so we've got those yellows and oranges and even some of those reds starting to show up on radar. Uptown Charlotte dealing with the heavy rain and that stretches even farther off to the northeast and even farther off to the north. Cox Mill right now, Deweese dealing with some heavy rain back over towards Huntersville right along I-77. It is a rough ride. So again, if you could wait to this for this storm to pass before you go out, that's going to be your best bet. It's going off to the northeast fairly slowly, only about 10 miles per hour. And keep in mind, uh, this it's putting down some pretty heavy rain, upwards of two inches per hour. So there could be some localized flooding with this storm as well. But it will start to move off fairly quickly. West Concord about 6:54, uh, Concord about 7 o'clock, Rowan County 7:51. And if it holds together, it will move into Yakin about 8:41 tonight. So the good news is, and I know Futurecast not doing the best job showing that storm, but the good news is once that storm moves off to the east, northeast, we'll actually see our rain chances dwindle for the rest of the evening. So by early tomorrow morning, seven o'clock, we are starting off dry, but it's warm, it's muggy, but it is dry. Now by the afternoon with the heat, the humidity we will have once again more showers and storms firing up into the afternoon, and then we kind of do it all over again. Once the sun sets, our rain and storm chances will diminish. So going forward, we've got a 30% chance for rain Tuesday until about Saturday. And then our rain chances jump Sunday, Monday as a cold front drops into the region. And with that, yes, we'll come a higher chance for rain and storms, but also our humidity will go up a little bit, but our temperatures will start to come down. High temperatures today, 79 in Boone, 91 from Concord to Charlotte, Rock Hill and Shira all at 91 degrees today. Out there right now, the rain has brought our temperatures down just a little bit. So we're down to 78 in Charlotte, 75 Rock Hill, 73 in Chester. Areas that saw no rain today are still in the mid to upper 80s. Now, when you factor in the humidity, yes, we've got dew points in the upper 60s. So it feels like 90 in Salisbury, 90 in Concord, and 92 degrees right now in Monroe. So it is still humid out there, still sticky and muggy. And that's going to be the case for the rest of this week. You'll notice dew points staying in the 60s even touching 70 as we work our way into Monday. So the seven day forecast temperatures stay in the 90s at least through about Sunday. Rain chances go up. Temperatures start to come back down into the mid 80s, which is actually a little bit below where we should be this time of the year, which is in the low 90s.